Okay, so let's look at some uh, Homelink Bakery Bundles. This is for Bridges Math 4th grade. And we're going to start with a bakery that sells cookies by the dozen. So the first thing you need to know is that a dozen is 12. And she sold 16 dozen cookies. So how many cookies? We're looking at uh, 12 times 16, right? And there's many, many ways you can do that. I might try to do doubling and halving to make it easier like that. And then maybe if I do 48 times 4, and then I can make that... 96 times 2 or you can do partial products or there's many ways you can solve this but uh, I'll let you figure it out how you're going to do it and now this is a little bit more interesting one um, she's using one and a half cups of milk for each batch of a dozen cookies so what is tricky here is we're now adding some fractions in this so one batch of a dozen cookies she's using one and a half cups of milk so then what how many cups would it be for 16 dozen? So start by thinking, so two batches, you need to double one and a half. So if you doubled one and a half, you would have three, right? And then I think it's gonna be easier. If you had four batches, that's gonna give you six cups of milk. And if you keep that pattern up, you can probably figure out um, how many she would need for 16. All right, and then 28 cupcakes and different rectangular arrangements to package them. So we're basically looking at factors of 28. You could have one box that was one by 28. It's an even number. So if you did two rows, what would you have? And I believe there would be one more box for you to figure out there. And okay, so now let's go ahead and look at this last one or this bottom one. And we're comparing three-fifths to two-thirds. Now, you could probably just use a fraction chart, or you could try to convert them. I'm going to try to do a little graph. But two-thirds and three-fifths are actually kind of tough to draw. But I think it would look something like this. And according to my drawing, you can see which one is larger. If you're not totally confident from a picture, what you could try to do is put them into equivalent fractions. So how could I get three-fifths into fifteenths and two-thirds into fifteenths to figure out um, which one's actually larger? And now let's move on to this backside. Um, fractions equivalent to four-fifths. So if you multiply four-fifths by one, which could be like two halves, for example, that would give you an example. Any time you multiply that times a version of one, it's gonna give you an equivalent fraction to four fifths. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then we're putting cookies into boxes, 240 cookies. If we put them into 24 boxes, it's actually pretty simple, right? 240 divided into 24 boxes is going to be 10 in each box, right? So then, what would happen if you only did 12 boxes? Um, and basically, we're looking at a pattern here. So you're cutting the boxes in half. It might be helpful to look at a picture of this to figure it out. So imagine here are my uh, boxes. I have 24 boxes with 10 in each box. And now I need to make this go down to 12 boxes. So if I did that, I would have to combine these, right? And then there's my 12 boxes. And how many are in each box? Well, just put those together. And then we're going down to six boxes. So then if I went down to six boxes, I need to combine them again, right? So if I do blue, six boxes in blue, there's my six boxes. And how many are in each box? So you can see the pattern there. Uh, if you look at it. All right, and this challenge here is American measurement, so we don't know this very well. All right, so let me just give this to you. Um, one cup is eight fluid ounces. One gallon would be 128 ounces or 16 cups. So I know, it's pretty annoying. All right, and Rachel has one-fourth of a gallon of milk left in her bakery. 
So basically we need to figure out one fourth of a gallon, how much is that in cups, and how much is that in ounces? Okay, so one fourth of a gallon, let's start um, with cups. And it's pretty simple here. If we just divide this by four, we're gonna have one fourth. So 16 divided by four, that would be four cups. Okay, one fourth of a gallon is also to get ounces, what we could do, there's two ways we could do it. We could divide 128 by four, or how about this? Four cups is a fourth of a gallon. There's eight ounces in a cup, so to go four times eight, you're gonna get 32 ounces. So, now, she wants to make four desserts. So basically, you need to multiply all these by four. Two cups times four would be eight cups. Eight ounces times four would be 32 ounces, and so on. Multiply all those by four and see what you come up with, and then which one of those matches either four cups or 32 ounces. And then that's gonna be the um, dessert she should, she should make. So again, these uh, ounces and cups and gallons are pretty annoying. So just do your best with that one and focus on the other ones mostly, and that is your homework, and thank you.